In this video, let us continue to solve problems based on relationship between zeros and the coefficients of a cubic polynomial. And the problem that we've got here uh, says um, find a cubic polynomial with the sum, comma, sum of the products of its zeros taken two at a time and product of its zeros as 2, comma, minus 7 and minus 14 respectively. So what it says is we've got the data as to the sum of the zeros is 2 and the sum of the products of its zeros taken 2 at a time is minus 7 and the product of its zeros is minus 14. So what it translates to is uh, alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to 2 and uh, alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha is equal to minus 7 and alpha beta gamma equal to minus 14. So now uh, if you remember we, we've done a similar problem uh, based on a quadratic equation that you know when the zeros are given you just have to form the quadratic equation. So there was a, um, there was a formula for that. So here the formula is uh, f of x is equal to the constant that is d in this case. The k is d uh, times x cube minus alpha plus beta plus gamma times x square plus alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha times x minus alpha beta gamma. So this is the equation. You just have to substitute in this and then you find the required cubic polynomial. So here we are now. So the equation would be k times x cubed minus the alpha plus beta plus gamma is 2. So 2x squared minus alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha is minus 7. So it will be minus 7 times x. So it is minus 7x and uh, minus alpha beta gamma. That would be minus alpha beta gamma is minus 14. So minus or minus 14 is plus 14. So this is the required equation. Now, you may worry that, you know, uh, the alpha plus beta plus gamma is uh, negative d by a. But again, as I told you, this is that a that we are talking about. The constant that's going to be multiplied with everything. So it's going to get cancelled. The minus d by a when multiplied with k, the a, the k is the a here. Okay, so that's going to get cancelled. So similarly, everything is going to get cancelled. So do not worry about. So all you have to do is just end here. And this is the cubic polynomial. When there is a value for k, it'll automatically fit into the equation. So this is this is how uh, we find a cubic polynomial when the zeros are given. And more importantly, the thing to remember is k is any non-zero number. In fact, non-zero real number. So k cannot be a zero here. Yeah? That's most important because if k is a zero, then the whole thing doesn't stand. So, so this ends this problem as well as this video. So all you have to do to find a cubic equation when the zeros are given is you just have to remember this expression and substitute in that, and that's all you'll have to do. Very much similar to the way we formed a quadratic equation. So I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with another problem based on the relationship between zeros and coefficients of cubic polynomials.